Hey what's up people, so today I'm making a Demon Souls tutorial as you guys can see uh, since I figure there's gonna be a lot of new players giving this game a try once they get a chance to get a PS5, hopefully soon so what I'm gonna be helping you guys find in this video is especially if early on in the game is really useful I'm gonna help you find the uh, Adjudicator Shield which is a shield that's really cool, it helps you regain uh, HP which is health in the game so um, what you want to do is go to the second stone on the right this one right here is called shrine of storms and you just have to go to the first one so don't worry you don't have to be any bosses or anything and you want to go over there give it a sec to load and then once you're here you want to make sure that uh, preferably you have the thieves ring uh, on hand so that you're detected less easily by enemies uh, also, make sure you have. I meant to use my shield. Make sure you have your shield on, because these guys. They're very aggressive, as you guys can see. So yeah, if you're coming here, especially when you're low level, do not charge at them. They'll come at you. Be patient. Use your shield, and yeah, they're they're pretty tough. Especially if you're low level. So we're gonna go over here, make our way through. Okay, so. There you go. So just make sure you carefully go through them. This guy's over here trying to snipe us. There's no way you. So you get. Okay, so now you want to get one of these to come down. If you have the thieves ring, only one of them will charge you. If you don't, both of them will. So it's pretty handy to have that ring on hand. There you go. So just make sure keep going slowly. It's not too far from here, but uh, you do have to kill a lot of these guys. There you go. So yeah, now we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna pass this thing right here. Just ignore the big guy over there. So yeah, just go on the side. Make sure you ignore him. Go here. And then go right here. Try not to get hit by the flying... By the flying manta race, as I like to call them. So right here. I violated my own rule, I charged them when I shouldn't have. Kill this guy. And now, if you thought all of that was hard, this is the hardest part. So here, this is going to be... Uh, a red-eyed skeleton. These guys are like, like twice as dangerous as the as the blue ones. So or more. So what you want to do is just agitate him. Uh, you especially if you're low level, you probably don't want to kill him. Long range attacks are preferred. So uh, as you guys can see, he killed me once. So get, get the ring while, while he's there. And then if you have magic, use that wall to uh, kill him easily. Uh, the AI is pretty dumb. <laughs> Since it's the same as the PS3 code. So now what you want to do is just go back and uh, go back the way you came. And welcome back. Now that we're here safe at the Nexus, uh, you, you guys can see I equipped the shield on my hand. And uh, it looks pretty cool, but aesthetics don't really matter. What we care about is that stats uh, and the HP boost that it gives us. So the stat is uh, 2 HP per second, and that's like the way it is right now with zero upgrades. But if you upgrade it, uh, it's going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 8. And uh, you can upgrade. Right now it's at zero, and you can upgrade it five times. So... If we go over here, I think we don't have to go to add. 
we do have to go to Ed. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out a lot. This is one of the best shields you can find early game and uh, it can really help you out by healing your HP obviously. So uh, if you guys appreciate the tutorial, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thank you guys and peace.